So hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kendra and you're watching KP Cam. Okay y'all, so I messed up. This isn't clickbait, this isn't clickbait, this is real. But you know, I just made a mistake and I deleted part of the video or a clip of the video. And I worked hard to try to get it back, but the only way I can get it back was pain. So here I am giving y'all that two minute video that I lost. But yeah, basically y'all, this video is gonna be about my first time drinking at a party. Um, If you know, like, if you ever been to a party lit, then you know, like, it's different going to a party sober and going to a party lit. But, I mean, that definitely depends on your age and stuff. If you know, then you know. Some people requested that I talk about my first college party. And I'm going to be real, y'all. I don't remember. I think my first college party was when I went to Green Street. And, y'all, that is not worth the story time. I mean, maybe... Maybe it is. This is one of my first rememberable college parties, okay? And it's so funny because it's actually not ANT. But y'all gonna watch the video and see all about that. But just to give y'all a backstory, this happened in 2017. Um, if you don't know, I went to college 2016. But you know, this was spring semester. Obviously, 2017 spring semester was the time, won't it? But um, if you know, you know, go check out my last story time. Spring break, y'all, this was spring break 2017. And I had went back home. Um, I wish I would've actually went on a trip because everybody was screaming Miami. And I'm like, I'm a freshman. Since when do I just jump up and go to Miami? I never even been to Miami and I don't even have coins. What freshman do you know got coins? But they was going. And I was like, nah, sis, I'm going home. But I was like, I'm gonna make the most of it and that's is what i did okay but yeah that's pretty much what you need to know make sure y'all comment on this video let me know if y'all like it make sure y'all subscribe to this channel and go ahead and cut my merch like cut my merch cut my merch cut my merch but yeah y'all go ahead and enjoy the video okay so this was this saturday right when i got back y'all and i'm like yes give me vibes like it's spring break i'm not in miami but i'm gonna have to give something because it's spring break so i don't know how i ended up where i was at but basically i want to say like an old friend of mine that i used to go to school with I think she posted on Instagram or something. I don't know, but I ended up linking with her. Maybe it was just random. I didn't have no other friends. So I was just like, I'll just see what she on. Cause she talking about going somewhere, you know, I'm trying to get lit. So I was like, okay, I hit her up. So I ended up linking with her and her best friend. Now, all three of us actually did go to school together at one point. But of course, I went to a different high school, so I kind of lost contact with everybody. And her best friend, I knew of him, but I never talked to him. So that's the backstory on them. We ended up linking. I was a little nervous. I'm not gonna lie because I don't really know them like that. Like I know them, but I know the old them. I don't know them right now. And they probably was kind of thinking about that about me too, but they had each other. So I'm like, okay, cool. I'm just gonna vibe out. It's cool. I'm, it's giving adventurous Kendra. It's giving live your best life no matter what Kendra. So, so we ended up meeting up downtown like... I want to say behind like the secret center like that area because the apartment complex that the that the party was going to be at was literally like by that waffle house if you know you know if you know vcu you know the secret center you know the waffle house on broad street like you know the vibes that's where it was my i had never seen none of this i never paid attention like i never paid attention to vcu period but since i was a college student now you start paying attention like oh i see how it is it's another so we pull up to the apartment this was like her homeboys like she knew the people that was doing the party so i felt a little more safe about that because she knew the people so we come in and it's it's lit i ain't even gonna lie to you i felt bad for my friend because they always trying to charge the guys at the door i'm sorry but if a home, if my one of my homeboys come in with me and my homegirl, 
let him in free. He done brought the baddies in. He brought the baddies in. Why is he paying? But whatever. He was, he has his coins together, so it wasn't an issue. So we get in, the jump was live. They had this punch, right? So, you know, they put the punch in the cooler. You know, it's giving jungle juice. Y'all know the vibe, you don't know the vibe. Catch all by now, come on now. So, you know, I'm like, mm. you know, I don't know about this. Cause y'all, I never drunk at a party. Like I had never done that. I had been to parties, but I wasn't drinking at those parties. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna just go ahead and try it. Like everybody trying it, everybody drinking it. You know, I'm quick to be like, what's in it? What's in it? What's in it? What's in it? But you know, everybody wanna be stingy with the recipe. What's in it? This, this, that. So I'm like, it's okay, it's just cool because I'm not the only one drinking. My friend is drinking too. Like we all finna be lit. It's a vibe. I'm on spring break, baby. Okay. <laughs> okay, so you know we vibing. You know, first it was it was kind of like you know we hey, kind of got to warm up. Like I don't really know these people. The drink ain't really hit me yet. Let me just you know vibe out or whatever. So we kicking it in the corner. So I'm gonna see if I can find the footage so I can add it up in here. <laughs> We vibing this, this, that, and I think like a couple times, like you know, they started playing the bangers. Okay, you know they, they started playing, you know that that shaking music. Y'all know what I'm talking about, honey. I know every twerk song, so you know when the music come on, I know what's on. Okay, so I think I had about like two cups by the end. And this is junk juice, y'all. I don't know what's in it, but it's working. So me and my homegirl, so she gets down, right? Like she dances, okay? She's an island girl, so she gets down with the get down. You know, I'm right, I'm right with her. You know what I'm saying? I can keep up. I can keep up. So I'm right with her. We dancing this and the other. It was a couch, like on like how can I explain? We walked in. It was like a living area, and there was like a wall that you can go up the steps. But under the steps was like, like a little, like you know, it's like a little space right there. And they actually put a couch right there. So we had put our jackets on that couch because that's where everybody else had put their jackets. But we ended up kind of being in that corner dancing with different people and stuff and like a couple times like people would like get up or sit back down and stuff like that so I had sat down for a second and I was drinking you know and I was like oh my gosh like it, it really hit me then like oh my gosh I am drunk <laughs> okay I was like I'm there I never been there but I was there Okay, that's when I knew. That's when I knew. Mm-hmm. It had got me. I wasn't a poser. I was having a good time, man. I was having. A, I was like, it was like, it was like a epiphany. Like, oh, this high be. I like it. I like it. Then, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, it gets ghetto. So this wasn't my my first rodeo. Okay. And things start going left. Of course they do. Of course they do. I don't. It's it's not just a Richmond thing. It's just a party thing. People. I think it's just a house party thing, and I get it. I get it. That's why people don't trust house parties now because it just always ends in some mess, and that's what it ended in. It ended in some mess. So we are vibing. We're having a good time. We had a little trip to the bathroom. It was cool, you know. We was vibing. We having a good time. Then a fight breaks out. Of course. Of course. Of course. We can't just have a good time and, you know, enjoy ourselves. We, we got to get reckless. So, a fight breaks out. And, you know, people trying to hold people back. You know, you yelling, screaming.
People start dispersing, you know, black people, we like to watch fights from a distance, usually. Unless you know the person, then you're like up in their face, calm down, calm down. So, they fighting, and I'm like, man, I was having me a good time. I, I'm not ready to go home. And I'm not, I'm that type of person, y'all. When I go out, I never want to go back home, but I'm like, dang. I feel like we've only been here for five minutes. I'm sure we had been there for like two, three hours, but I just felt like I only been there for like five minutes and then already that's not the party. But I'm like, okay, let's just I always wait it out because either the owner or the or the host, they either gonna be like, Y'all gotta go, or they're gonna be like, let them go and we gonna continue. So we sitting out and I I, I love that they would like my friends i'm so glad they was on the same wave as me like we're not finna let this kill our vibe you know what i'm saying so we was definitely very optimistic you know we keep it high hopes we good so they break up the fight and y'all this is when i was like oh my gosh we gotta go like we've sat at we've we, we've we've held out but we gotta go. And mind y'all, before this, before the fight even broke out, somebody had threw up. Like somebody threw up like beside the staircase. And like literally the half the night we was trying to make sure we didn't get in that area. Because it was it wasn't like food throw up, it was like fluid throw up. So you don't know if that's alcohol or if that's throw up. So we tried to avoid that area the whole time. So it was like little red flags. I was like, uh, maybe we should go. But then it's like, nah, we having a good time. The music good, the drink good. Come on now. So I'm sitting, I'm sitting on like on the couch, and like my friends are like more toward like I think they was up on the stair on the, on the stairs, like they were on the stairs, looking at everything go down, and I'm just sitting on the couch. I don't know how we got separated, but we got separated, not too far away from each other, but it was still like I wasn't with them. So I'm sitting on the couch, like oh okay, let's see what's gonna happen next. And then this guy walks over. And he's like, um, and y'all, y'all seen my jacket? I gotta get my gun. I get my gun, boss. I get my gun, boss. I said, I said, you gotta get your, your what? Like, you know, you know, you know, I'm a little lit, so I'm like, I'm, I'm trying to register what he said, you know, I'm hearing him, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'm like, wait a minute. You just said I gotta get my gun. Now, this could go a lot of ways. It could just be like, oh, he ready to go home. You know, he's got to make sure he's strapped up before he leaves, you know. Or it's giving like, oh, I'm about to kill this dude because I want, you know, the fight didn't go well. Now I'm going to have to run up and kill him. Or maybe I'm going to have to shoot up the place. But why would he feel so comfortable asking me to get the gun if you know he was about to shoot us up so i'm trying to be optimistic mind you i kind of recognize him so i'm like maybe you know i shouldn't be worried because i kind of i went to school with him too but i don't know him now and he's talking about getting his gun and i'm over here with the jackets on the couch and i'm like okay so i went after that, I moved from the couch because I didn't know what he was about to do. And literally, the safest place probably would have been that staircase because, you know, you can see everything. Like, you can see the whole floor. You can see it. <laughs> like, anything about to go down, you can probably just kind of, like, run actually up the stairs to, like, really, you know, skedaddle low-key. So... I'm like, yeah, let me go ahead and tell my friends what's up so we can bounce. So from there, I go up to the staircase, I tell them what happened to another, and the vibe just started to get weird. So we just like, yeah, we finna leave. Like, that's the last strike. We tried to hold out, see what's gonna happen, this, this, that, but that just wasn't working. So we was like, yeah, we gonna leave. So you could think that's the end. And I don't know if I should let, I don't know if I should tell y'all no more. Or should I continue? Should I continue?
that is where I think that I lost my belongings. I had on like this, I had on my winter coat y'all, but I have been taking it on and off and stuff because obviously you don't wear no winter coat up into no party. So I have had my Aggie one. Oh, if y'all don't know, that's my college ID. And I had my debit card, my knees. I had my knees. 